When someone who has endured abusive behavior for a sustained and prolonged amount of time reacts in an aggressive manner, reactive abuse. I want to start this video off by saying that the term reactive abuse can be a bit problematic because it places the blame on the victim. And so a better term could be self-defense. But in a lot of places, if you see the term reactive abuse being mentioned, this is what they're talking about. Have you ever been gaslit, manipulated, lied to, served a bunch of word salad, and had your words twisted against you so much and have people act like they have no idea what you're talking about when you know they absolutely do, and you feel like you've just been pushed over the edge after you've held your tongue and been patient and played along with their games for weeks or months on end, and then when you finally snap, everybody's looking at you like you're unreasonable, crazy and the other person is so lucky to be able to have survived an encounter with you and you're so lucky that anybody puts up with you at all because you're so volatile. You, my friend, have just exhibited the type of self-defense that is known as reactive abuse and unfortunately it's often used against you and works in the abuser's favor. Once a victim lashes out and reacts in a kind of explosive way, it gives the perpetrator leverage to be able to say, look, see, I only act this way and react this way because this is how they treat me. This is the side of them that nobody ever sees. And then it can make the person who just kind of exploded look like the bad guy especially because the type of people who are likely pushing someone to the extent where they would exhibit reactive abuse is very charming, charismatic, good with their words, good at painting a picture a certain way, and it would already be difficult enough to, conf to convince anybody that they're capable of this manipulation, this harm, this type of treatment that would cause someone to lash out. They're typically on the surface, very likable, charming people. And so when you or someone else who has been receiving this type of treatment, just the downright evil behind the scenes, you lash out. It just gives everybody a reason to be able to question you and lean on their already formed understanding of who this person is. It just makes people want to bring up the questions, well, are you sure? There's two sides to every story or three sides, your side, their side, and the truth, uh, okay. To anyone with a brain who's capable of critical thinking or a moral compass that functions at all, it makes more than complete sense why someone who has been um, the recipient of treatment like narcissists and histrionic people and otherwise just evil, sneaky, manipulative people dish out why they would lash out and say something really hurtful or perhaps do something a little sneaky to try to protect themselves um, or even shove them because many times there's a physical abuse element here as well. Um, it would just make so much sense. But a lot of times people don't like to believe that this type of evil can exist in the world or that someone who is this evil is capable of doing good things. When, if evil people were just evil all the time and looked like your typical Disney villain, everyone would figure them out, they would be outcast, and they wouldn't have the social leverage. They wouldn't be so successful if they were just gross and slimy and sleazy everywhere. And so for people who are not connecting the dots, those good deeds really allow their schemes to be successful. And when a victim acts in self-defense or reactive abuse, as I'm talking about in this video, it causes everyone to say, we knew it. We knew there had to be a reason why they were acting this way. See, it's mutual. Both parties contribute to the toxicity of this relationship. And maybe you guys should just take a breather. Or maybe you should try to see it out from their side. And it just makes the victim feel even crazier and more isolated. Now, before you go getting all excited and thinking you're gonna show this to your abuser or their flying monkeys, the people who believe them and take up for them, I wanna warn you, it's likely not gonna be successful. And if anything, that could be used and turned against you as well. And maybe people will believe that you're the one pushing the buttons and your abuser is the one 
um, acting out in self-defense. So just spare yourself the heartache and just keep this video to yourself. Add it to your tools, your resources, your information that's going to help you get the courage, the strength, the wherewithal, whatever, to get up and separate yourself from this situation. Have you ever experienced reactive abuse or acted in self-defense only to have it turned around on you? Let me know about it in the comments. And as always, if you found this useful, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the things so we can keep learning and growing together.